In today's episode, we are gonna be engraving on slate coasters. These are a staple in laser engraving because they are such a nice object to engrave. They look really premium when you finish off your engraving. They're actually relatively simple to do and they are such a great product that you can sell or gift to people. We'll be using the X-Tool F2 for this. However, this will apply to all the F-Series lasers. The only difference will be that the material settings will be different, which you can find in our Facebook group, so check that out. So without further ado, let's get on with this. I'm gonna show you the full process of setting it up, loading our design onto it, framing our design, getting our material settings, engraving, and then at the end, I will show you the results. Without further ado, let's do this, let's engrave it, and let's have some fun. You can get the slate coasters in various different shapes and sizes, but a 100 millimeter diameter or across is normally the standard. As you can see here, we've got a square one and we have a circular one, and I will be using the square one in this case. You don't really need a jig for slate, you can get one, but ultimately you can just place it where you need it, right there, and you're good to go. It's very important for us to focus the laser manually before we do it. We're gonna be using the knob right here. We're gonna be turning right to make it go up, making the dots go further away. We're gonna turn it left to go down and join them together, and that is exactly what we need. Let's move on to the setup. So here we are, we're in our Xtool studio. So we are gonna click new project, and that will load up our workspace. You'll hear the beep of the machine and a green light that tells you you are connected to your machine. What we're gonna do in this case is we are gonna click auto measure. So we've manually focused the laser. We can also do it automatically, so we click it. The light will go off on the laser to allow the actual laser itself to find out where it is. And then we'll get an updated background picture with a focused number right there, 8.8 .8 millimeters thick is this coaster. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna move on to the next step and that is getting an image onto this coaster. So in this case, I've got a special treat for you guys. I've been doing vector images up to this point, but I thought I'd make things a little bit more complicated because this is something that people can actually use immediately to try and either sell and make money or just to have a little bit of fun and make personalized gifts. So we're gonna be taking a photo of my family, we're gonna be importing it in, we're gonna be editing the photo, and then we're gonna be engraving it with some really, really good settings that I have really spent a lot of time refining. So to do that first, let's bring in our image. So we're gonna click there, and I'm gonna bring in this image of my family right here. We're gonna click the scale down button, and I'm just gonna drag it. So you can see in this image, I don't have a background, but the original image did. So what I recommend you do first is take your image, Google free background remover, or go to a website called Adobe Express. You can do it for free on there. Put your image in and remove the background because if you have a background on a photo, it will really wash out the photo. Ideally, if you can remove the background and just have the people in it, you'll have a nice contrasting photo and it will come out really nice as we're gonna find out in this. So I'm gonna reposition it, adjust the size of it a little bit and I just wanna make it fit. So we're pretty much covering the whole slate coaster. And there we go, that should be good. I'm gonna have the name of my family underneath and I'm gonna have the year here. And I might put a couple of little images, we'll see. So if we try to engrave our image like this, as it stands, it would actually come out looking really bad because when you're engraving onto dark surfaces, it anything that appears dark in the photo will look white on the slate. Anything that looks white in the photo will look dark on the slate. So it's gonna look like a negative photo where it's backwards. We need to do something about that and we also need to edit the picture. All of the tweaks we're doing to this photo are being done in Xtool Studio. We're not using any external software, okay? So that's one thing to note here. So click on your photos and then click on edit and you'll be presented with this toolbar on the left. The first thing I always like to do is crop the image down so that this bounding box is as close to the subjects as possible. And in this case, the subject is me. Let's get it to the top of my hairline right there. And that means if we do frame our image or if we're adjusting it, we know that that box represents the exact size of our photo. And that's what we want. It's helpful for me personally. The next thing we wanna do with the, with the photo still selected and edit still selected, we wanna click adjustments. And in that, you are greeted with a number of different things. If you have a color photo at this point, select grayscale and make sure it turns black and white because a black and white photo is much easier to tell how it's gonna look on the slate and also it just comes out better. I'm gonna be using the auto adjust function. So if I click that now, you'll see it should tweak the settings to really contrast it and it's done a good job. It might look a bit odd there, but believe me when I say this, this is gonna come out nice. So the other thing we wanna do is invert the image, okay? Like I said, the colors are gonna come out backwards. 
If you click invert, it's now gonna change black to white, white to black. So now my t-shirt looks white, but on the actual slate coaster, it will be black. But the other thing we wanna make sure is that these lighter colors that are, anything that shows light now is basically gonna be almost the same color as the slate coaster. So we need to make sure there's a contrast so that our photo is actually engraved and it looks distinguishable. So I like to firstly update the sharpness to about 10 and you'll see it should add a little bit of contrast in there. It's probably gonna be hard to see, but most importantly, reduce the contrast in this case, cause I've got a black t-shirt on a little bit and it will make it a little bit cloudier. That's just gonna give us a nice definition between the black coaster and my black t-shirt. So there you go, the photo is literally set up and we are good to go. So the next thing we wanna do is just position this where we need it and there you go. I'm gonna add some text in now. So I'm gonna click the text button right there and I'm gonna just select anywhere on the screen and it will produce the text. So I am gonna call this um, the Smiths. There you go. And in this case, we are gonna drag it so it fits in there nicely again. We want it centrally aligned with our photo. We can do it in a couple of ways. Then I'm gonna click the engrave button and then I'm gonna change the font. So there is a font called Courgette, which I've used recently and I actually really liked it. There we go. So this font, I really liked it. I thought it looked quite nice. So we're just gonna make sure that this text fits on the slate coaster. My one in this case, as you can see from the picture, it's a bit damaged, but we'll carry on with it. There you go, we'll put it centrally there. And then what I'm also gonna do is copy and paste that same text. So to manually copy and paste, right click, select copy, and then select paste. I've used a shortcut on the keyboard, Control C and then Control V. And then we are now gonna put in 2025. I can't believe we are at the end of 2025 already. And there you go, I'm gonna drag it so that it looks quite nice. Okay, I'm gonna put my picture a little bit higher as well, because I want that to sit just where that is. Okay, so there you go, we have our text, we have our image. What we could do if we wanna be festive is we could add some elements and they have a Christmas selection area. And I'm just gonna go for maybe this right here and we'll put it We'll just stick it in there like that. And then I'm gonna put a, what else can we do? Let's do a gingerbread man, why not? We'll put a little gingerbread man in the top corner near my head, just to show you guys that you can have a little bit of fun with this. So our coaster is now set up, we're happy here. We're now gonna move on to material settings. This is the key thing for the image. I've worked really hard for you guys to get you some good settings here. I believe they should work with most photos. So give it a go and see what you think. So let's start off doing the text first. So I'm gonna select all of my text. And what I will say actually, we need to select our material at this point. So I'm gonna select my material. I've predefined one called Slate. So if I apply that, you're gonna see, I've already pre-set up a, um, a text engraving settings here. So it's infrared, 60% 60, 60 power, 600 speed, 200 lines per centimeter. Let me stress, that is just for these vector engravings. That They are not the image settings, okay? Just wanna make sure that's clear to you guys. So there you go, I'm happy with those, I know they work. What I will do is select our image, and I have been practicing, you can see all here, but we're gonna be going infrared light, 225 dot duration, 100 power, 350 DPI, and we're going with Jarvis bitmap mode, important. There you go, we have it set up, okay? We, we're happy with that. So the next thing we're gonna do is frame our design and make sure it fits where we need it to fit. In this case, to frame it, we wanna make sure, because we've got a quite a bespoke, unique shape, we are gonna click on the frame icon down here, the arrow next to it, and we're gonna select outline. Also, because we have a dark surface, I wanna make sure the power, the light power is more powerful so we can see the laser. So we'll do that, we'll click on frame and let's go and take a look and make sure we're happy with the placement. As you can see, our framing looks good. It's pretty much over the whole slate coaster. So I'm happy to go on and process this one. So we're happy with the framing. What we're gonna do now is click on process and because it's a photo, it can take an, a decent amount of time. But with these settings, I've actually really refined them down. So they're quite fast and you can see we're doing everything in four minutes, 28 seconds, which is brilliant. It's not long at all. So I'll show you how it's gonna look when it engraves it. There you go, that's the order it's gonna do it in. So we're happy, let's click start and let's see this get made in front of our eyes. One other point I wanted to say is I am gonna be engraving this with the lid up, but I am wearing safety glasses. So if you ever do that, make sure you have your safety glasses on, I will have mine. I just want you guys to get a much better view.
As you can see, this looks really good, but I have another little trick to show you guys, which is gonna make it next level. So let's move on and do that right now. Okay, great. So you've just seen the first results. However, what I wanna show you is a nice little trick that you can do to really make something pop out even more. And what we're gonna do is put a nice outline around the photo just to make it contrast between the slate and the photo. So the way we'll do that, we'll select our photograph. Up here, you're gonna see a box of some dotted lines around it. It's called offset. Select that, and in this case, it will default by two millimeters, and look, we don't want it like that. Drag it all the way down to zero, and then it will put a line exactly around your image. So click on OK, and what we've now got is a vector shape, and if you see over the right side here, a vector shape all around our image. 70% power, 600 speed, and we are gonna do it around this, but what we can also do is we can put it around these items as well. So if we select them all and go to score, it's going to change the way we look, they look. And we'll do the same settings for those. So we are going to do 70% power. First of all, infrared light, very important. And 600 speed. So that's now going to draw a line around everything. The, the only other thing we have left to do is to turn off our photo engraving, which we've done. You click that little button there and it'll go from green to red. And now if we click process, and at this point as well, do not move the slate coaster, okay? If we click process, it's gonna draw an outline like that and it'll be very quick, three seconds, literally nothing. So let's do this and let's see how it looks. And there you have it. It has drawn a nice white line just faintly around everything, just to make it contrast that little bit more. And it looks absolutely outstanding. So I hope you've learned something new today. Thank you very, very much for watching. And as I've said before, check out our Facebook community groups where we share all of our settings. Also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these videos. And thank you very much for watching once again. I hope you've learned something new and let's move on to the next one.